As part of our cybersecurity initiatives in West Islip, we are implementing a new important security measure. Beginning in May, all faculty and staff will be required to use multi-factor authentication, which is also known as MFA, when logging into ClassLink. This additional layer of security will greatly reduce the risk of unauthorized access to our systems and to our information and will help protect our data. MFA is not required for student accounts. This is just for staff and faculty. And while we do have multiple logons, the only logon that will be affected and will require MFA is the ClassLink logon. When setting up MFA, there are two options. The first option is the text message option. With this method selected, you will receive a code on your cell phone that you will have to enter when you try signing on to ClassLink. The second option uses an authenticator app. This is a great option if you are in an area where you don't have good cell service or Wi-Fi access. While you will still be using your cell phone, in this case, the authenticator app can be opened and it will give you a code. And that code can be used to log on to ClassLink. And again, this option does not require you to have cell service. You will just need service to set it up, but that's it. In May, each building will have a date where MFA will be officially turned on and it will be required. Beginning on April 8th, all staff members can begin enrolling in MFA. This means you will have time to get everything set up and to choose your preferred method. It'll be helpful for you to have it set up ahead of time so that when the date comes, you're ready to go. Now let's take a look at how to set this up. Sign on to ClassLink and click your profile icon in the top right corner. From there, choose Settings. From Settings, click the Security tab. Here you will choose the option you prefer to set up MFA. From the drop-down, you will see two choices, Mobile SMS and Mobile Authenticator. And again, Mobile SMS is going to send you a text message, and that text message will give you a code to sign on to ClassLink. And the Mobile Authenticator is where you will download an app on your phone, and the app will give you a code that you will use to log on to ClassLink. Let's start with the mobile SMS setup. So this is option one. Here you will type in your cell phone number and then you will click save on the bottom. A code should now be sent to your cell phone. Check your cell phone for the code and type it in here and click submit. You will notice it says disabled. The last step to setting this up is to enable it. At this point, your setup is complete and you have enabled MFA. You can close out of settings and the next time you sign on, it will take effect. And just to give you a visual, here you'll see the normal ClassLink sign-in page. And once you click sign in, you will see the MFA prompt. So go check your cell phone, grab that code, enter it in, and then click the blue check mark. If you've completed option one and set up the text message option for MFA, you are all set. And just to point out, if you go back to your profile icon and go to settings, under that security tab, you will have the mobile option enabled. Since we are not enforcing this option until May, you can technically come in here and disable it until the required date. So it's up to you how you wanna leave it right now, but on your building's date in May, everyone will have to come in and enable it. Now let's take a look at option two, using the Authenticator app. There are several different apps you can use for this process. We recommend ClassLink Verify or the Google Authenticator app, but if you have something on your phone already, you can use that. Um, any Authenticator app will work. And one of the main benefits, again, with this method is that you do not need to have cell service or you don't need to have a Wi-Fi connection. The app will work in any situation. However, for the setup, you will need a one-time connection. So while you're setting this up, please make sure you are in an area where you do have cell service or you're on the Wi-Fi so you can set it up. And once it's set up, you won't need Wi-Fi or cell service to authenticate. To set up MFA with the Authenticator app, from ClassLink, click on your profile icon in the top right corner and go to Settings, and then go to the Security tab 
and from there, look for the drop down list and choose Mobile Authenticator. If you haven't already, you will need to download one of the authentication apps. We recommend the Classlink or the Google app. Once you have downloaded and installed one of the apps, you will scan the QR code that you see here, and then the app will generate a code for you. That code can be typed in the box right here, and then you'll just go ahead and click Save. One important point is that these authenticator apps will generate a new code every 30 seconds, and you'll usually see how many seconds it's up to. So what you wanna do is um, make sure you type that code in this box within that 30 second time frame. If it looks like it's close to the end of the 30 seconds, uh, just wait until the next code is generated and try it again. Uh, so you do have 30 seconds to get that code in here. Again, once you type it in, you'll just go ahead and click save. Once you've hit save, you'll wanna make sure to come back to the profile settings window and make sure that the setting is not on disabled. If it is on disabled, just click enable or re-enable and your authentication is now set up. You can now close out of settings and your MFA has been set up. We hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions, please reach out to IT and we'll help you get set up.